you are on the internet. So I'm guessing you're probably a nerd. I'm gonna teach you to be a better one. So I normally do scams and weird food shit, and I thought I'd do something a little new. Today I'm gonna teach you how to be a better nerd by making your Windows desktop more awesome. Because it's easy to do, and it looks amazing. People will be like, is that even Windows? It looks so incredible. So it's a good idea to do this if you're a show-off. Attention whore. Regular whore? So for wallpapers, even the dirty ones, go to forwalled.org. And if you're indecisive or schizophrenic like me, there's a program called Automatic Wallpaper Changer. And what it does is it grabs a folder full of wallpapers and it'll just rotate through them for you automatically on a time that you set. There's actually, you can set a program up that grabs a folder full of wallpapers and just rotates through them on a time that you set. So every four hours, every two minutes, anything like that. Rain meter. Rain meter is amazing. Everybody should have rain meter. The only problem with it is it's a little glitchy when it comes to making some of it work, you have to have a little bit of technical skill. And by that I mean you have to tinker with it long enough because it's pretty straightforward what the settings are. It's just instead of a regular setting box, you have to go and edit a text file. But it's well worth it because you're going to get some awesome widgets like this clock here. Notice that it also has a weather indicator and the date. You can even measure the temperature of your CPU, your CPU usage, how much hard disk space you have, basically anything. RSS feeds can show up on your desktop. You can configure this thing to do just about anything you want on your desktop, and there's some really nifty skins for it. Tinker with it, follow the instructions, it's really well documented on the website and on the default skin when it downloads, it's called Enigma. The other thing you're going to want is fences. Now Fences is a wonderful little program, it's free. What it does is it takes any icons that might be on your desktop and it makes them disappear. You can bring them back at any time, but it makes them disappear. Handy. Next, you're going to want to skin your desktop in some way. Now, you've got that little taskbar, it's usually pretty ugly. Uh, so what you want to do is change this thing a little bit. There's programs out there that cost money to do this, but you don't need that. You want to find a program called Style Selector. Style Selector is awesome. Now, skins for anything I'm mentioning here, they're all available on DeviantArt. So go to DeviantArt. Now, if you want, you can even get rid of the taskbar entirely. There's all kinds of how-tos on Google to do that. And make it look more like a Mac computer. Get a dock or launchers to do everything that you do. But they're really finicky. I like something a little bit more direct. So you can get Rocket Dock, and that makes it look exactly like a Mac. It's scannable too. Or what I use is Circle Dock. This is my Circle Dock. Circle Dock is amazing because it's fully customizable. It can be a spiral, it can be a circle, it can be a series of circles, it can look like the Looney Tunes thing. It's amazing. You can leave it on the back of your desktop, you can call it up with a mouse click. Anything you want to do, it does. So all the links to get anything I talked about today, they're down below in the thingy. Uh, feel free to leave a comment if you have additional suggestions or questions about anything I told you about. Hopefully these tips get you laid or a job or something. Till next time, folks, get the hell out of my camera.